Well, we're here at an undisclosed location in the Northeast Kingdom, stone's throw from Jay Peak. And uh, we're gonna shoot some guns, spend the night at my buddy's epic camp, and then go into the land in the morning. Yeah, there's Grant. Hey, how you doing, hey? Show your shit. <laughs> Is that Martell? What's up, boys? We're he's, going to shoot some shit. He's got his chainsaw helmet on. He's Chain ready to- Chainsaw and I forgot ear protection, so we're going real redneck today. Gonna tear your ass up with a 300 blackout. Oh yeah, the old subsonic, bud. Won't Ooh. even hear it coming. Look at the view. This place is so ridiculous. Just having this big of a field. Hey, do you have a lighter? There's JP. Yeah. But it's in the fucking shed. Steel target tool. It's windy. It's a little bad. The reveal. The AR-15 in 300 blackout. It's got a 300 blackout receiver with a suppressor. Oh baby. What is that? Uh, do you know which kind? It looks like the uh, one I got. I forget what it is. It's the quick disconnect though. So I can put this. You can shoot anything from 223 all the way up to 30 cal, right? Uh, 762. 762. Yeah. Yeah, so they're cool because you just what a thumbnail right there. Yeah, that thing's sick. You got the muzzle device, the muzzle brake. I got yeah. one of those too. Grant's going to set up the steel target. <laughs> it's just like my side by side. This also, I don't think this is oh quite sighted Oh, nice. In. It's a full size. I don't think this is oh, quite sighted one. in, to be honest. Seen him shoot this yet? No, I've been Dude. hearing about this gun and I've always wanted a 300 blackout receiver. Give me a hot fucking casing. Woohoo! Just hearing Where's the impact hitting? on the dirt. Ow, ow. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy how much it suppresses it. Subsonic? That's not, yeah, that's, that's not. not. Nice cap. It does have a nice cap. It's a 556, five, ain't it? Woo! Keegan's got the camera, filmed his wedding at the same spot a year ago. Now we're blasting shit off, dude. <laughs> oh, this thing's all greased up. I need to put some grease in it. Yeah, I have That's funny, it overgasses. That's what that noise is. <laughs> ah! That's all she wrote. We'll see you at the land. Woo! Well, back in business, back at the land. It's two or three days after the last episode when I transplanted all those trees. The trees are still alive, which is nice. Um, Partied a little too hard last night. I don't drink often, but when I do, I get my yaw yaws out. So I'm feeling it this morning. I feel washed up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna scout out potential zones to put the raised bed, which I will not be constructing today, but I just wanna figure out where that's gonna go. Um, I got a little dump cart to tow behind the side-by-side. -side. Just a smaller dump cart, as opposed to using that thing, which I will use once I rebuild it. But this thing's just a little more, uh, wheelbarrow size it should be cool 650 pound carry capacity and uh checking in on the frogs damn you can see all their little egg sacks over there they're so freaky i love frogs look at this old pole i didn't even realize this was here still some old jars seems like a different lifetime when i cleaned all this up this weird tree there's still all sorts of debris baked into the earth over here. Oh boy. I might get out the brush hog and just mow this today. This has never been mowed. Kill all these fucking pricker bushes before they get too big. Like, look at this. What is this? Oh, I would have ran over that with the mower. 
Yeah, there's all the dirty treasures here I forgot about. Small stuff I must have thrown to the side to save. Just when you think you got rid of all the garbage. That's cool. Use that to water the freaking garden. Alright, I got this bad daddy out. Let air warm up. And now I'm going to get the mower going. It hasn't been... I ran it a little bit a couple weeks ago just to get the engine going and make sure the battery is working, but she hasn't been used in months, so it'll be nice to put her to use and get her blood flowing, if you know what I mean. Probably where I'll put the raised bed right there. Boop, 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 boop. Right there. Oh, well, just cleared this out, which is nice. It's wild. I'll try and put a photo in this video, but we found negatives, Hannah did, and she scanned them and got them developed, all that. And this used to be piles of trees Richard cut down that he was presumably going to mill and then they just got overgrown with time it became kind of a, a bed for everything to grow on I did find a trash bag which sucks more trash just when you think you've got it all all my trees look good hopefully they take root I'd be so happy if they did and I just mowed along the road frontage too Just cleared all this thicket out so it looks nice. Oh, I'm cleaning up random trash and shit. I just found a bag that was buried. Look at that old Makita cordless drill. Richie's hitter. I got the show pony all loaded up with uh, the sawzall and the camera gear and I'm gonna cruise down into the woods and work by the creek. I won't lie, I do not have a lot of energy today. I'm just pretty wiped out. The hangovers get real once you hit your 30s. I can only imagine how much worse they get as you get older. Booze is bad. Bad stuff. Poison. But yeah, I'm going to go work down by the river. Clear some trees. And uh, just fiddle around and see what I can get into. And then probably come back up and call it a day. It's not the longest day here, but a good day nonetheless. It's nice to show, uh, Connor's already seen the land, but it was nice to show his friends. Grant, we stayed at his camp last night. That's where we were shooting guns. He's not far from me, so it's cool to know that I got other, other people around this area that I'm friends with. And, uh, yeah, just a beautiful day. It was super moody this morning and a little rainy, and now the sun's out and clouds are cruising, and it's just a beautiful day. Spring is very much in the air. The trees that I transplanted look good. I did some mowing and cleaned some areas up that needed some TLC and yeah. Definitely want to uh transplant some some more pine and evergreen trees right here. Because eventually I'm gonna build over there on the other side, kind of where the crack shack was. So it'd be nice to create a little bit of a tree barrier here. 
Um, the one thing I just need to be cognizant of is the fact that there will be excavation work done here and stuff to prepare for the house to be built. Gravel laid down, a pad, all that. So I don't want to plant trees that are going to get run over or smoked by an excavator. Take care of this so I can get the side by side down. Got my bent <laughs> blade, but we'll just run her till she dies. Probably won't cut the greatest, but no point in beating up another one. All right, I think we got it. Yes! Good. All right, now that I got the side-by-side -side down here, there's a bunch of stumps from when I cut them down this, this uh, winter, and I couldn't get deep because of the snow, so there's some stumps sticking up. I'm gonna kinda just chop those off so it's nice and level here, in case people wanna set up tents. This looks nice. Time lapse set up, shooting the clouds passing over the creek. I know I call this a river and a creek all the time, but it is technically a creek. It's a creek. And uh, gosh, it's almost warm enough right now to just soak my bones and test it. The water's got to be cold as a mother. It's not too cold, honestly. It's pretty nice. Well, it's been a good day. Um, it's already two o'clock. Time flies when you're working hard and having fun. Got this area cleared up. Got the trail for the side-by-side -side cleared to get down here, which is a game changer. Cleared up some of the small stumps that were still sticking up from when I cut them down this winter. And it's just beautiful out right now. The sun's hitting the water and couldn't really ask for more to be honest. I'm just super happy to be here, happy to be alive. And and embracing the work. Little by little, we're making this into a paradise. I think this is day 77 or day 78, so I'm closing in on 100 days on the land, and I think I've been pretty darn productive, all things considered. And, uh, yeah, just happy. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. I don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be some kind of work that'll be fun and cathartic. Cheers.
Well, hello there. It seems that you made it to the end of my video. I appreciate you greatly for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Chester says thanks and hi, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.